This is a rattlesnake. They hide under logs and under rocks. At night, if it's cold, they will look for warmth. And if you're sleeping on the ground, that warmth is you. A bite will kill you. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a television series that I had really no clue about, but really hooked me into watching more and more with 1883. As a super fan of anything Star Trek, I subscribe to Paramount Plus, as it is very beneficial to me in my leisure time with anything related to that brand. Browsing, I came upon 1883, which is also starring Sam Elliott, that really caught my attention. I then realized this was a prequel to Yellowstone, which I have yet to watch, but have seen clips on YouTube. Not knowing much about any of 1883, the first episode gripped me very fast, and as an American history show goes, this one ended up being a very good one at that. 1883 was produced by 101 Studios and released on Paramount Plus from 2021 to 2022. The series takes place after the American Civil War and is a prequel to the hit television show Yellowstone, as it describes how the Dutton family make their trek across the United States to where they currently are on the show. The story here is pretty simple, as the Dutton family travel from Tennessee and undertake an incredible journey west to Oregon for a better chance at life before they eventually settle in Montana where the show Yellowstone resides. The family tags along with a wagon train of immigrants also looking for a better life and opportunity. The story is purely on the struggles of the journey and how people in general would go to great lengths trying to become free at the same time living their dream in becoming something more for themselves and their family. The characters are really what brings the show to life and how they deal with the journey and how they are willing to sacrifice anything to get there. The show is primarily seen through the eyes of Elsa Dutton played by Isabel May, who also narrates the miniseries. It is seen from her eyes on the wonder of how different the world is from that of Tennessee, where she pretty much never left her family ranch. The development of each and every character is done so well and believable. The viewer truly feels all the hardships that occur, and although a fictional piece here, become incredibly factual on what probably really happened on the trip that arduous. The way each character grows from the very first episode to its very last in this 10 episode affair will keep the viewer in suspense. The writing and acting here is incredible with pretty much all of the characters. Along with the harsh reality of their journey, this western is really well done in all areas where each line of dialogue is so important that it will lead to what's ahead and forges so many new challenges for each and every character. The one thing that impresses me more is the authenticity the show has describing their trip on the Oregon Trail and how extremely dangerous it really came to be. So many challenges from the people to the Native Americans to even the environment really shows no mercy here or any type of heroism. It's stark, gritty, and truthful on what would one expect in a journey like this. It isn't all doom and gloom. With any journey, there are pros and cons. The eventual goal for everyone is to escape their former lives and become something better and is the premise of the story. Overall, I felt that this series was one heck of a documentary as well as a 10 hour film. The budget is extremely high here and really pushed for storytelling with factual, actual history here. Just to survive a journey in that time, you had to fight against your fellow man, the environment, and also yourself as what they are willing to do and to fight for, for something much better. 1883 gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its wonderful storytelling of a big part of American history that was told with extreme truthfulness and not holding back on what people do to strive for something more and better. Now I need to watch 1923 with Harrison Ford as another side story of the drama of the Dutton family and finally catching up with Yellowstone. That's it for this surprise review of 1883. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. What in the hell is a toilette? Frenchman. 
Should have. When did you learn French? Don't know French. I just know the French word for should have. Well, how do you know the French word for should have? It's the fucker gal from France. Fine, that's all you had to say. Don't let get angry about it. Damn.